Hello everyone, so today I'll be talking about 20 interesting facts you probably didn't know about the map of GTA Online. Without further ado, let's get into it. There's a trench on the eastern coast of Los Santos. I'm pretty sure most people know about it at this point. What most people maybe don't know is it's actually a pretty expensive trench and GTA Online is not really a scary game, but I do get somewhat goosebumps around here because it's just kind of eerie being this deep in the ocean. There is a billboard on top of the bridge next to the freak shop right here on the map and it doesn't have any textures on it. I assume when Rockstar was making GTA 5, they kind of just put this here and forgot about it because this has been here for a very long time and it has not ever been updated. This one is probably pretty well known, but I figured I'd just throw it in because it's so funny. At this location on the map, there is a arrow indicating that you can make a right here, but if you were to make a right right here, you would go onto the freeway like onto the dirt so i'm pretty sure rocks are just blacked out when making this street or something and they used the wrong texture and they added a turn where you can't turn and uh yeah very weird there's a glitching texture right here on the map and it's kind of just weird because it's such a small texture i'm not sure how rocks are messed this up but it is there it's right here on the map and it is odd There's a parking garage where a certain portion of the parking garage cannot be shot through or it cannot be shot in. If you try to walk past this invisible wall with a gun, your character will kind of demount the gun, point it down, and you cannot shoot in this wall. I'm sure car meets would be great here because no griefers could really get you because you're safe from the orbital cannon and you're safe from bullets and explosives. Franklin's aunt's garage does not open in online. Neither does Michael's. But Trevor's will open just fine. I'm not sure why. Maybe they forgot to remove the feature to open when they added it into online, but very strange. There is an open interior in this weird collection of houses near Sandy Shores and no mission in online or story mode has ever taken place here. So I'm not sure why they would add an interior you can go into, but very strange, very odd. No matter if it is snowing or raining, some NPCs can be found wearing swimsuits at the beach. The sidewalk next to the Diamond Casino has grass next to it that has a weird interaction with motorcycles. If it is raining or snowing, your vehicle's mirrors will not interact with the weather. There's a company called STD Sentinel Tuning Division, which makes intercoolers for some cars. However, what you probably didn't know is there is another company in the game that is also called STD, which are construction contractors. Josh Bernstein is a character you work for in story mode as part of a side mission, and you can still see his billboards being advertised even though GTA Online takes place several years after the development of GTA 5. You can sometimes see a money truck that is colored black and gray exit the Diamond Casino. Sadly, unfortunately, like the old money trucks that were white and green, you cannot blow the back doors and get money, but it's still pretty cool to see money trucks driving around. There is this small dock at the dam which actually interacts with the water level and will raise and lower depending on how much water is in the dam. I think this is pretty cool attention to detail. Mm -hmm. 
The Diamond Casino is the only building that has had a major overhaul in GTA Online. I assume this is possible because the original casino did not have a lot of missions surrounding it, and any missions that were surrounding it were lesser played contact missions and they probably just got deleted. Unlike many construction buildings in GTA Online right now, like the Mile High Club that have many missions surrounding it, many canon story missions, which is why the Mile High Club will most likely never be finished. The casino didn't have these setbacks, however, and that is why we were able to get an overhauled casino, which I think is pretty cool. A lot of people forgot by now, but there was some advertisements for the Moto Mommy radio station in GTA Online. These billboards used to have the Moto Mommy logo. However, it was more intended to be a graffiti thing than anything else. These weren't official billboards, they just spray painted over existing billboards. I assume the city came and cleans it up, and that's why we have the original billboards again. However, for the short time we had these, they were pretty cool. Now this has to be one of the more interesting facts about this video, but a lot of people already know about it. And that is the open interior IAA building that we used to be able to go inside, but Rockstar unfortunately patched it. I'm not sure why they did it, because it caused literally zero harm, you couldn't grief or anything, you could snipe people most definitely, but you could do that from any rooftop. Very unfortunate, Rockstar kind of just patched it out and put an invisible wall so that we cannot travel through it. As you can see here, I'm firing missiles at it, I'm driving right up to it, nothing is happening. Very unfortunate, but a relic of the past for sure. There is a refrigeration plant in the industrial part of Los Santos. This in and of itself is not cool, but what is cool is what it says on the top, stay frosty, which is most definitely a reference to the Call of Duty franchise. It can be found here on the map, and I think it's pretty cool. There's a car outside Franklin's house, which is probably Tanisha's, and I assume this because the license plate says Tanisha, but more interestingly is how it has an exempt plate. If you didn't know, exempt plates are usually given to law enforcement officers or government officials. So Tanisha's car having an exempt plate kind of makes me think that she is a cop now. But it is only a theory and could definitely be an oversight by Rockstar. But if the theory is true and Tanisha is a cop and Franklin is this enterprising criminal, I think it's a pretty cool dynamic. However, I'm not sure how our players would react if our boss, who is Franklin, is married to a cop. I figured I'd end the video on a wholesome fact. Next to the cemetery on this hill with benches on it, you can see in memory of Chris Edwards. Chris Edwards was a Rockstar employee who passed away unfortunately during the development of GTA 5 and his name was put here as sort of a, a remembrance. Very cool. And what a cool legacy to have to say that your name is stamped on one of the most influential games of the modern era. Definitely awesome for Rockstar to do and uh, unfortunate that he passed but a nice remembrance memento. And that is it everyone, 20 interesting facts about the map in GTA Online. I hope you enjoyed this video and I might make more depending on how well this video does. But I, I enjoyed doing this video, I hope you all enjoyed watching it. And have a good day, I really appreciate all you guys watching.